What is going on students, it's Devlin Cassidy, aka The Scholar, and welcome back to a, another Worlds discussion today. We're going to be talking about Standard and what I think probably might be best positioned to take the gold this year at Worlds in February. And trust me, we got a lot to talk about. So this tier list has everything from set 13. It does have the deck sets, uh, the stride deck sets that aren't out yet for English and won't be out for the time at Worlds. Um, but we can also do a little bit of prediction there too. But before we get into this topic, if you guys need cards, still please go shop with my team sponsor, Kingslayer Cards. Use a promo code SCHOLAR. Save 5% off your order. Supports me, supports the channel, supports one of the best stores in the game, and most importantly, gets you cardboard. And if you participated in the KSC Circuit Series this year and topped and received your invite, our invitational for the 2K is coming up January 20th and 21st respectively for both overdress and premium so please show out is going to be absolutely worth it and if you need any of the fly products that i have in terms of deck boxes mats dice trays and everything go head over to dankritual.com and get hooked up with them they are absolutely perfect so for standard i think there's a couple decks that jump out immediately out of set 13 i think drinjul of enos i think youth burke and i absolutely agree with leonorn here being in the uh the really good deck discussion full blast support the unison dress for leonorn and of course enos ignis just being like crazy good um in terms of value for that deck um i think though if we're going to still talk about decks that are pretty consistent that still i think have are in, probably in the best position to take worlds i definitely think that the orphist mask variant is very very strong i also believe full-heartedly that um uh, zorga is a deck that you actually need to be be prepared for the, Zor the zorga mask is crazy um and when we talk about the leonorn deck of course know that we're also still talking about the pure variant uh, i've seen from a lot of my friends that like the mask variant really like brings down the deck in terms of consistency so and you just feel like you're playing a lot of bricks because you have to play the hydragums and you have to play the mask so you have to fill your decks up with like no defensive value and stuff that doesn't work with itself so that's why like they're just saying hey play the pure pure leonorn um because that's where that ranks at i think also though in like good decks that too will top is definitely the bastion uh the, the bastion accord is actually a crazy deck um so i think if you wanted to talk like look at six specific decks this format they say hey these will probably top i think it's these six right here um zorga is really good for offensive pressure it's it's front row columns can get absolutely huge between you know uh the persona ride effect um the alchemagic effect and um the uh the grade three order that gives 5k to the front row having a free 25k to your front row is crazy uh so you can't sleep on that uh, with like a double persona ride and a half is, is is wild so uh don't sleep on zorga especially when that deck goes second that deck is very very scary um i think though in terms two of like heavy hitters out of a that could definitely top but i don't think are as good as these top six is Greedon and Omni Garuzo. Omni Garuzo's ability to neg triggers is actually kind of crazy. Um, I think that, like, you know, with more testing and Dark State's getting more stuff, um, this deck probably has the ability to shine. I think that, that Greedon's higher A versus Omni Garuzo, but I'm kind of like feeling this out by nation. Uh, but definitely these two uh, should be on your radar. I think two jet still has enough to talk about you know they got new support with the set 13 with the striders and the dark states one is really really good in terms of supporting that deck so you can't really sleep on that there um is there anything else oh minerva for sure minerva i think has actually one of the decks that are really well positioned right now uh gandiva still i think is, is, is pretty good if you're able to find the cards to get your bind zone early and you're able to like be aggressive gandiva still has a strength because the new grade three is pretty good from set 12 um so that is those are my conclusions there on that hexa orb uh people need to stop sleeping on this deck um it got third in georgia from my boy michael housley uh he did fantastic with that deck i think that if you really understand that deck understand the metagame and are able to grind games out hexa orb uh numbers can like hit like a truck with triggers so um don't 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 sleep there uh very 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 good deck um for those that have not played against it also another deck i'd love to cover is mushi king i've i've been told that mushi king is kind of wild i'm taking this one with a grain of salt uh they said that its ability to kind of like in grind games and stuff like that to kind of like 
force out resources of your opponent is pretty strong. Um, but to be safe and not overestimate, I'm probably going to drop Mushi King into B. If it's higher though, and people that play like standard a lot more closely, please let me know if I'm wrong. I will. I'll certainly. Uh, take back any statements on this as well um also i think megalino zuchi low-key could top this deck can like oddly like hit like a tank too if they see all their pieces and stuff so maybe the snake boy is also pretty good um in terms of that i think ava also potentially has the ability to get top eight uh the deck still grinds it has really good tools and purple poisons the deck i play for standard i really enjoy playing it um it's one of the decks i've had the most fun playing um i think so to i think jiva has the ability to top its rear guards are kind of crazy um that i got out of set 13 i think that's really good um probably can put like marhar there probably could put overlord like really high a overlord's still pretty good um let's just think and so yeah let's just let's just go on ahead and, and fill the rest out in terms of like what i think still is still is good um eugene is still still peasantry Bav, I think, is better. They have a grade one coming out soon is, um, that is, like, busted. So, yeah, you need to do that for them. Uh, Shota Doji, Shota Doji, I don't know. Um, Tommy Yura, I think, is good in terms of Rush. Vermillion, they got a promo. I don't know how much the promo changes the deck, so I'm going to safely just put it there because I think it's, I think the promo makes the deck pretty good. I have no idea what that is. So, we're not going to judge it. Um, Barrow not really unrivaled bruce no no idea what what that is uh farnival no i've heard that this deck's terrible i've also heard that lukier is still terrible i think that the uh, vivian's bruce i think that dredge i think dredge mask is low-key like b but like if you want to play dredge just play um the new one uh if you want to go pure mask uh, I'm, I'm gonna safely put that deck here uh, because that deck is sauce. Um, Kios, I've heard like can be like high aggro. I don't want to bump this up so that way I don't make anybody mad. Any Dark States fan? Uh, MLB, I'm gonna put at the bottom of C even though it tops. I'm gonna put um, PBO a little bit higher. I'm gonna put Graham Grace there, Solarian there, Thagria. Thagria can go higher, honestly. Um, yeah, Th Thagria can go there. We'll put Welstra. Oh, I want to put Welstra higher, but I don't know. We'll put Welstra here. Welstra like has some insane rush. Like if you if you if it sees its resources and can go, it, it wins. Um, I'll put Messiah higher. I don't know the Kaiju girl can get there anymore. Uh, Silhouette. I'll put here. Gravidia. No. Same with Mask. I think that deck's terrible. Avangara. I think it's a boost. I think it could be like low B because um, it has some some tools. Uh, I'll register maybe. I think that uh, I think that Loki. I think that uh, Ezel is, is actually kind of solid. Um, Prison got some more tools. I'll put it. I'll put a high C. Again, these are just my guesses from what I'm seeing. All the decks do. Uh, B hero. Uh, I have not seen that deck do anything, and I've looked at the results pretty recently. Flag, I feel like you're you're here. Regular, no. Grade four, maybe. Granfia, no. New token girl. I've heard that this deck's fun. I don't think this deck's good though. Mistark, kind of the same. Uh, Warwa, I think can grab some spots. Uh, do, 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 do. Magnolia Mask. If you if you get the Dragon Tree markers, these, this deck could actually be pretty explosive. But let's continue on. Maelstrom. I'll put there. Uh, Inlet Pulse is a good card. Lutetia, I still respect because it got tops this season. Um, I don't know about this new Alden deck. I kind of want to put like an I don't know tier. I think this deck's good though. I'll safely put it here. I think we got this. Um, do, 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 do. Kyrie. I've heard like Kyrie like can be pretty good. Grade four Kyrie deck. Um, waiting for these to come out. Actually, surprisingly, I think like this deck like is actually like becomes one of the best lyrical decks once it drops. Um, I'm really excited though for Prism. Prism is the one I'm excited most for because that's my favorite Bermuda deck. 
Willista. Willista kind of died after the hit, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, forgive me too if I kind of like ignore anything super glaring because the rest of this has the JP stuff in it. Uh, oh, Grigophilia, the grade 11 deck. Um, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I always thought Dragon Tree was kind of a meme, but like, I, I honestly have no clue. Uh, if someone wants to tell me what the best clan to play like Dragon Tree in, uh, we can put it, we'll, we'll put it there for now. Actually, you know what, just to be safe, just so I don't offend anyone, we'll put Dragon Tree bottom tier except for the Dragon Tree players. But, um, yeah, uh, Medial I've heard is good. I've heard the Highlander Tiger Girl is good as well. Um, Clarissa, maybe, maybe I can just put like safely put a lot of these lyrical decks here. Um, cause I heard if they go, they go and they get there. So, so maybe, maybe the supports like through here or have we gotten, or have we gotten her yet? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't know for lyrical. I don't follow lyrical that much just cause I've never played that deck in standard, but, um, yeah, I think in terms though, for definitely for winning worlds, you should be looking at the top, like this top six up here. I think like if we wanted to like correctly rank it, I'd say like for English players, like Orphus has been doing really well. I think Japan, like Jewel is the second most topping deck. Um, Bastion, uh, like yeah. I think like if you wanted to safely rank the top six, I think Stoikeo those on the bottom. Um, especially though too, in like terms of accessibility for Stoikeo, those Mistark promos shot up. So I would be careful on purchasing those, but um if you have everything to like these these two decks for stoikea are absolutely like perfectly good picks um and i'll rank here a2 i think like this is this is a pretty good benchmark for a i think for a i think it's the bottoms here i think it was a little better um i think we can move hexa orb up i think we can put that there i think i think real on mask is still really good um, I'm going to comfortably do this. Um, this looks pretty right to me in terms of a going forward. I mean, even if you too, if you want to drop Megalonozuchi and you want to put it to B, you want to put it here. That's fine. Um, and again, I've, I, I've heard and only heard in theory that, that, um, the Mushi King stuff is good, but like, if I'm completely wrong again, feel free to correct me in the comments below. But to me, this looks like pretty reasonable. I think like Ava and up are really really good decks um but please of course let me know what you guys think is going to take worlds this year for standard youth burke won it last year can it can it double back and, and take the glory again we will see but i hope you all are having a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week i love you all and take care I spend it